Hey singers, I hope everybody is doing wonderful. I wanted to talk to you today about diction and how important diction is. But before we get into that, I wanted to tell you a few things. The first thing is that I think you are amazing. The second thing is that I believe in you. And the third thing is that I do think that you will succeed and you will do well. Now, how do you feel? I hope that you feel wonderful. You should. That's how I want you to feel. I hope that you feel empowered. Now, why am I telling you these things? Because we're talking about diction, which is the way that words can move people if we speak them and sing them correctly. So today I wanted to talk to you about singing and how a lot of times when we don't sing our vows correctly, our voice doesn't come out very clearly and then our message gets lost. So those are two things that are super important for our audience. Number one, diction helps create a clear sound, a beautiful sound that comes out in a projected way so it can go far and it can be very clear. Number two, the second thing is that our message is clear for the audience and this is so important. If our message isn't clear, then they might miss a part of the story and it could be a huge part. <laughs> so we need to make sure that we're clearly singing things out. So let's look at an example together. Um, the example is going to come from um, Belle's song from Beauty and the Beast. So let's think about the beginning of this song. So the words are little town, it's a quiet village. So if this is sung incorrectly, not using great diction, it would sound something like this. Little town, it's a quiet village, which sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? You might be able to tell that something's a little off. So if we're singing it correctly, it would sound more like this. Little town, it's a quiet village. Now, all I did was adjust a little bit about the vowels that we're singing and pronounce the consonants more clearly. So, of course our vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. So everything else are our consonants. So it, in words like town, you want to pronounce the T clearly. If I sung that phrase and it sounded like I was singing little town, the audience may not know where you're talking about. So you need to make sure you're very clear. And this is the first song in the whole play. And so if they don't know it's a little town in a quiet village, they might be confused. So it's, it sets up the background and the setting as well. In the word little, you want to make sure you pronounce that L clearly. Little town. And then you have your T's again, little town. Now, instead of saying little, a lot of times our vowels, we want to uh, make our mouths go wide. But with our vowels, we want to just think tall. So if you want to grab a pencil, you can, or a marker, or you can put your finger right here to make sure that your mouth doesn't spread wide when you say your vowels. So le instead of saying le you can say le little town right so you can already hear a little bit of difference instead of saying quiet village you want to say quiet right instead of saying quiet quiet okay and then with village, it's not a village, it's a village, village, okay? So those are just a few things to help you. But remember, words are super powerful, and so we want them to come out clearly. I hope this helps, and I'll be talking to you guys soon.